Hello everyone, my name is Mao Emis. I'm the founder of the African Center for Green Economy. I'm reporting from the Northern Cape province that has recently been declared a disaster zone because of the persistent drought that has lasted several months, even years in some cases. Um, really, the stories that are emerging from the ground are very sad. Um, businesses are closing, farms can no longer sustain their operations because there's just not enough water, livestock are dying. Um, the implications on this region and on South Africa's economy are quite significant. Um, water is the engine of every economy and if you just can't have enough supply, um, for example, in this region that is very important for, for grain, which is a staple crop in many uh, communities in South Africa, is that um, the price of food will eventually increase and the most vulnerable people um, going to be most impacted. You know, that uh, windmill uh, in the background for me shows a classic e example of the challenge that this province is facing, where the, this farmer here is attempting to get every single drop that they can get from, you know, from these operations. But you can see all around it, it's absolutely dry. Um, so what needs to be done? I think that uh, with the disaster uh, being declared, uh, there is need for an emergency response for those farmers and communities that, that communities that have had most had hit with this uh, drought. In the long term, we need to manage our water resources much better because these types of incidences are not are only going to increase as we move forward. The extreme events of high temperatures, uh, drought, persistent droughts will increase. And so we need to be able to build adaptive capacity, whether it's in our business models, in the communities that are going to be most impacted so that um, we're able to re respond much more appropriately to these kinds of uh, challenges that we, we, we face. This is Mao Emis from the African Center for Green Economy.